right, guys, part two of our special collaboration with the reality gaze. Matt, Jake, welcome back to 90 Day the Melanated Way. I'm your host, Linda Entry, and I'm so excited that you guys are here finally. I first want yes. to just praise you. I'm going to give you, in church, they say it's praise reports. So I'm going to give you guys praise <laughs> reports. So my first praise report is thank you guys so much. You guys were truly like my mentors. Uh, getting started and really just show me the ropes. And I, I know that there are days that I've text, like I was like a text bandit. I was texting Matt like every five seconds. I was crying, all the stuff. So I appreciate you guys so very, very much. And, you know, a lot of my subscribers came from you guys. And a lot of them that I still have are from you guys. And we're all one big happy family. So the sissy squad and the girly squad have united. I I'm happy to hear that. Anytime we can help people and we're all, none of us feel competitive in this market mm -hmm. because we all, we're all doing different things. Uh, mm -hmm. It's, it's not like we're competing grocery stores. Um, so it's cause we offer so many different things. So we, we're, we're all like lift up other podcasts, lift up other podcasters. Huh. And 90 Day Fiance fans are fucking thirsty as fuck. They'll drink it all. <laughs> they'll drink, they'll drink it all. <laughs> They're like, Taking eight inches. Yeah, yes. yes. Give me more. More. Give me more. 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 I, I should ask before we, because Poodle and I, do you, I forget, do you cuss on your show or not? Because Poodle cusses like a sailor. Oh, I'll be careful. Cuss okay. I, I'm Don't never a problem. I'm quite late. Oh, I feel like you might be lying just a little bit, Matt. <laughs> like just a tiny bit. Maybe. 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 Well, thanks you for jumping on our show. You dropped some hot tea. It was very good. We had good. we just had uh we just had you on our show. Uh, yeah, so we're doing this is the second half. Part two. Dos. Dos. Um, yeah. So I wanted to actually start with a game with you two. <gasps> Another game. So it's gonna be a word association game. I'm gonna give you a cast member's name. And for example, I'll start with you, Matt, and I'll say Ezuelu. You're gonna tell me the first word that comes to your mind, and then Jake, and then we're gonna go go like rapid fire though, okay? No I like love this. Over, okay. no overthinking, just like go with your gut. So okay. as Waylu. Arms. He does have big arms, like muscly arms. He, she said one word. Right. I said <laughs> arms. And you took a little too long. I'm sorry, arms. Um duh. Duh. Okay. <laughs> Elizabeth. Hate. Uh, mouth. I have a problem with her mouth and how it, it's like her mouth is upside down. Y'all um, are not playing this game very correctly. <laughs> I think okay. maybe I didn't, it, it might be no, my Canadian accent, but I'm going to try this again. So one word, one, 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 one word, one word, and you're going to give me one word okay, and okay, it's okay. rapid fire. So okay, just you're right. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, boom. It's like that. Okay. Thank you. We 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 never know how to shut up, but you're right. So deep okay. breath. All right. <sighs> Matt. Debbie. Hey. Uh <laughs> manipulator. Colini, the sister, not Kalani, Colini. Lovely. Gorgeous. Tammy as Whaley's sister. <laughs> Con artist. Two words, but yeah. Larissa. Hey. Are you just gonna be what? doing sounds the whole time? No, that's just what I think. <laughs> When I think of Larissa, though, I just she's always like she always does that noise where it's just like loud. So I guess um, that is the first thing. You know, yeah, like, you're just gonna make she's making just nonsense sounds. No, the um, first okay, Larissa. The first word that I think about is uh, is money. She wants money. Money, um, money, money. I'm doing three words, but it's because it's my favorite phrase that she says: "Cancel my affidavit." <laughs> That's my ASMR. Jess. Who's Jess? Jess, Jess? is uh, L L L Colt's second girlfriend. No. Linda, this is what I do all the time is explain uh, to him who people are. <laughs> oh, 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 Jess, okay. Liar, liar, liar. 
That's a good one. Um, uh, thigh tattoos. That's that's what I really remember. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one too. Okay, Tanya. I don't know who that is, but what? I I I'm 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 ignoring. We uh, here. I know what your word should be. Oh, exhausting. Tania. Tania. <laughs> That's what is we call her. Only, yeah, that's the spelling? only way I know how to refer to her. I love it. I love it. Tania. You guys are not bad. I'd give you like a C plus. <laughs> we, we don't know how to be uh, brief. It's impossible. It's impossible. Uh, I see that. This is the first time I played this game where I was not quite successful. I was like, wait, what's happening here? No, it's us. It's not it's you at all. I it's promise. Gay, the, gay DD is real. That's why it's in the show. We have it. Now, That's what right. has been your favorite season so far, you guys? Like season Ooh. or cast member? I'll I let think you go first. But we're on. we're a couple behind. There's some that we haven't seen. Like we haven't seen four, five, and six mm -hmm. of the original. We've mm -hmm. seen all the four the nine days, um, and all the other way. Um, for me, my heart belongs to Darcy, um, yeah. because Darcy. Uh, she loves love and Darcy is always, she's always on to the next thing. When she, even when she's hurt, she picks herself back up um, and she somehow managed to move on. And we could all learn a lot from that. We could all learn from Darcy. <laughs> I, I, mine is that season. I think, isn't that we jumped in it before the 90 day season two was our first watch of this yeah. show. And that was, Darcy and then Jesse still trying to work out the stuff, but it was also, it was Caesar. But then who doesn't remember? It's like JFK. We all remember where we were when we saw Maria. And when like Maria we, was real. We all remember that. And so did you know that? Or were you, even as a sleuthster, were you shocked by that? That she appeared out of nowhere? Uh, that she was yeah. a real person. I was shook. I was yeah, shook. They held on to that so well. So well. And I think that those are the seasons where there were less leakage and less social media because that threw me for a loop. I was like, oh. this dude is a hot mess. This girl doesn't really exist. So let's just stop it already. Yeah. But that and was uh, Paul Caesar, and Kareen. He was great. And speaking of Caesar, just because I'm on that topic. So, you know, he has this new or he had this new girlfriend that came out of nowhere, y'all. I saw no it because I saw a post on your your Instagram about it. And then she wanted to try to come. First of all, who are you? I'm asked asking questions. I don't know who you are. Apparently you were on 90 day quarantine, which I did not watch because I was already in quarantine. I will need to know what y'all are doing because I'm doing a bunch of nothing as well. <laughs> but then she tried to come at me in the comments and I was like, but who are you? And so I said that I was very nice and respectful, hashtag respect. <laughs> I said, but who are you? Cause I'm just trying to figure out all of a sudden he's giving you money. So he sold his house and his bicycle that you know he takes to the nail joint every day to give he you gave her like he, he gave her like ten thousand dollars cash <laughs> wow <laughs> he just handed it to her with some flowers wow how do i get in on the action because clearly we haven't learned from maria days so what is it that i need to do he is such a sad panda <sighs> in life no isn't it I, yeah. I i don't i don't know I want to, I want to, I want to just take him and say, you're better than this. You can do something with your life or maybe, and maybe mm -hmm. it's all part of him, his, the way he thinks fame works for him. Like this just is how to do it. it. Yeah. Mm. This is how to do it. I don't know. But I, I'm just glad it, he's gone because the way Jake would do his accent was for uh, <laughs> president Obama. I don't know why poodle chose no, that. He would, he would, no, he would, he would, he's like, well, uh, Maria, I don't know about, I don't know about Maria. <laughs> I don't know. That is absolutely no, Maria. Barack and he, Obama's cousin. It is. It and is. he would kind of, uh, and then I, then I would just say, Sasha, Michelle, uh, Malia. Uh, at the end of every, at the end of it, it just became ridiculous. And so all my Caesar was just me doing Obama because he paused so much like Obama did. That's and true. so that was, it's not that I could even do his voice. I just did like, almost like I did Obama doing Caesar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> me doing Obama doing Caesar. That's what it was. <laughs> that is meta as fuck. <laughs> and I would just say, Michelle, uh, yeah. Oh, Big Daddy. Uh, yeah, that was a good season. That was a good, that was Paul Karimi before they kind of got all so, again, <sighs> before they got so Instagrammy and all that kind of stuff. It's when, you know, Paul's running in the woods like we always want to see Paul do. And it was a good and you season. Know that's a real, that's his real run. Oh, oh God bless. Run. And, you know, his son, Pierre, has the same run. <gasps> it's like oh a genetic God. thing. Yes. I, I will say, I'm not a big uh, obviously, I'm not a Paul and Karini fan, uh, but that child, that child is such, it, that is like in the pantheon of 90 Day Children. Pierre is so cute. Uh, super cute. He's super cute. And did so they have is, your other one? They did, uh, right? They did. They did. They just had Ethan. A mm -hmm. Ethan. Ethan. Oh, and the rumors funny. are already flying, you guys. The rumors are flying that Ethan doesn't look like Paul. And apparently he went live and said that Karini slept with some other dude. So there needs to be a DNA test. I'm just like, you know, no. can, we, can we celebrate this baby for at least a week before I, we do all this? It's really Paul's mom. Who's just really the saddest person and all that with her, <laughs> with her sad bangs in Brazil. Just, just, just slapped to her face. Remember, remember Linda when she, was, she when she was about to die. Her her hair was just pasted to her face. She's just not used to that Brazilian humidity. It's so hot. She could not handle it. Oh, Mary. I will say this though. Uh, I did an exclusive with Paul and Karini, the first interview that they've ever done together, and wow. Mary thanked me because it was like I was like the Paul whisperer. I, I think it's it's so wow. interesting because I think God bless to you. You're the one person that got through. I think he needs Paul needs someone. The way to open him up for as far as communication is to try to understand him. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you try to understand him, he can be reasonable with you. Oh if yeah. You, yeah. If you don't do that at all and kind of start, he he doesn't he doesn't know how to because I think I think his mother kind of they raised him very, you they kind of babied him. What's with your, your bang, Matt? What's happening with what? your bang? The mo no, I'm just listening. Oh, my hair was itching. I'm just my hair. Is, I flipped my hair. Does, it's just a habit. Yeah, it was distracting me. You know that video, the viral video, bang, the bang, bang, bang? Oh, no, I just moved my hair. It's a habit. Linda, he <laughs> hasn't listened to me in two years. Same, <laughs> true, true. When true, I start like, talking. I, I don't know what he says. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. Who gives a shit? What, what you don't know is the episodes are actually two hours long and most of my content gets edited out. <laughs> yeah, it, four hours long and it's just me talking for two hours. Anyway, what sorry. What I was trying to say, though, is that I agree with you, Jake. I agree with you 100% because we had done that interview and the very next day, and it was a great interview, cohesive, positive and then the very next day he went off uh to another blogger and went off on a crazy tangent like i was like is this even the same person it was wild it was yeah, really wild. Mental, he's got uh, some mental illness i, I think it, it's it's i think it's even more than that it's it's um it's communication issues mm. it's um it's like i work with kids with autism and kids on the spectrum um and i see the same kind of not that i'm saying Paul has autism or Paul is an autistic person. Um, but there are, there are spectrum issue, uh, spectrum communication issues at work. Mm. Um, like what, what, what he's trying to say is never going to be really what comes out. Um, mm. And so he, and people often with people with those communication issues need a lot of, need a lot of care when they're expressing themselves. That's yeah. a good, that's, that's good knowledge. Thank yeah. you for so that. You're, you're doing, you're doing the right thing. By 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 kind of talking him through it easily. Well, you you're know. a good interviewer. I've heard you yeah. do interviews. Oh, thanks, interviews. guys. Thanks. Uh, mm -hmm. I wanted to talk and get your opinion on Sumit and Jenny and that relationship. Oh. And <laughs> Jenny, Jenny, yeah, Samara, Samara, what are you married? Spit your pot. I laid an egg. Samara. Your parents came into our house and they took your life down. It always devolves into us just clucking. Chicken like, Jenny. Chicken Jenny. Um, 
I think w- sometime in the first season, we realized that Jenny just sounded like she was clucking. I can uh, and then we've never been able to do her now without doing her as a chicken. True. I'm sure she's probably quite offended by it. Probably. Um, in the same way that I'm sure Anna was very upset when we named her moles on her face. Um, <laughs> but she got those removed. You so. know, Linda, you're welcome, Anna. You're welcome. <laughs> um, so I think there's been, you probably know more than me. I think there's been tea that's dropped recently about Jenny and Summit. Um, that I, I guess they were on. We haven't watched, and it's just been time. We haven't watched any of um, Discovery Plus at all. Oh. I've seen just like little bits here and there. So Jenny and Summit, it's interesting because they were on our first season that we covered on season two. We loved them. Oh, we were like, what this beautiful. No, no, no. They were on the other way. They or the other, the, way, other season two. First season the other way, season two. Other way. First season the other way, which was the second show we ever did. We did before yes. the ninety days and season, then the other way. And we we're like, what this beautiful couple? This is about love. This is submit, like standing up, trying to fight for. Like we totally bought into it. And that's how the show. That's how the show deeper. explained the narrative. And then um, by the second season, when we see now all kind of the bullshit in that she actually was staying with him before and all this shit we never knew. It's just um, there. I still part of me feels sorry for Jenny, just because Ew. because I think Jenny feels she's she's in it now. I, I can't feel sorry like, for her. I think she. I just think she has no self worth. But I really think Submit is such a gross, he's a just liar. Like, he's a, a liar. liar, liar. Yeah, he's a born liar, and he's got this. He's got this. Um, this poor me. I'm just trying to do it for love. Uh, thing. But he wants no. He wants to have his cake. He wants to be with his family and has his and have his side piece too. He doesn't want to get married to her. He just wants to have the side piece and to live in this kind of fairy world, where yeah. he can he, he can he can be with his chicken. I feel bad for her, but not bad for her because she's a grown ass woman. She has yeah. grown ass children. She's been married before, and I don't care if you've been with seven years or 10 years, hell, however long you've been with them. This fool doesn't want to marry you. He doesn't okay. want, he said it. He said it to your face plenty of times. Yes. And yet here we are. And just like you guys mentioned on the Discovery Plus Bears All, she has a, a full on fit. She like a full on two year old hissy fit, throws her earphones, walks away, is cussing people out. But you know what's going to happen, y'all? This is what's going to happen. She's going to stay there until the the world opens up again and her visa doesn't get extended. And he's going to be like, bye. That's it. He's not going to try to marry her. I agree with you. He's not going to try to do anything. Just bye. And if she does end up staying in the next five years, you guys mark my words, he's going to be ready to have a family. And again, it will be bye. That's Mm -hmm. it. She was, full on on. she was a full-on catfish. She was a full-on catfish. She was a full-on catfish. From the get-go. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it, you, can't, you can't create a – you can't make a catfish into a, into a salmon. <laughs> yeah. And it's if you really – catfish. And I'm not saying that America, always the U.S. is – I'm not saying the U.S. is the best place to live. But if he really loved her, for them – whether it's the U.S. or another country, or if he really else. loved her, he would move out of India, away from his family and away from that culture. Mm-hmm. And and we can, you know, we Poodle and I had to move away from the South, being like little gay kids. Like that wasn't for us. And if you really love yourself and you love the person you're with, you make that sacrifice. And he's just not doing that. So or even in a big city like Mumbai or yeah, a big so Indian spineless, city, so spineless. Yeah, and he just he's such a mama's boy. He won't leave. And can he get a job already? Like, how many years have you not worked? He barely tried to get a freaking job. He hasn't worked since he met her. They're both living off of her social security. Of of her her social security, yeah. Which is nothing because Jenny's never probably really, I can't see her holding down a job a lot. She used to, she did housework. She cleaned. She she cleaned a hotel in Palm Springs. She's If she cleaned a hotel in Palm Springs, she's seen a lot of gay butt plugs. She's seen some shit. I mean, she's, she's seen, a gay sex player. Oh, yes. Oh, she's seen it all. She can work, more, she can work in a morgue at this time. So I've never seen anything like that. Uh, poppers? What are poppers? Oh, my, Smith. Oh, I feel a light-headed, Smith. Yeah. 
<laughs> Lord help us. Who knew that? Are you going to write that in the summary of your show on today's nominated melanated way? Maddie does an impression of Jenny's on poppers. That's it. That's all I need. That's going to be the title of the show, actually. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, so we can't talk 90 Day without talking to the reality gays about Kenny and Armando. Oh, what did you think oh. of their portrayal? Did you love them? Do you like, because you know they're fan favorites. Oh yeah, they're they're universally beloved. Yeah, as mm -hmm. far as the nine day, I think um, I think most of it for us was super positive. Uh, for for, for my my point about them, uh, they, I think the production encouraged little problems because I don't really think they had any big issues. The problems yeah. they all had were between uh, were problems of Armando and his family. Mm -hmm. Um. I think the biggest issues that I had, things that I had an issue with were, uh, and this this was this was an issue in in our, in our group and some discussions of, is it, are they trying to do things too quickly? Are they trying to take, you know, Armando's uh, kid? Um, are they trying to take Hannah and introduce them to Kenny, who she does know, mm -hmm. um, in a, in a quick in such a way where he's coming out. This is my fiance. Also, this is your new stepfather. Is it too quickly? That was it was this to me done too quickly. I think that was the only thing I was concerned about. In the end, I don't think that was the case. Um, but that was that gave me vibes early on. Um, aside from that, and and Kenny not learning any Spanish, <laughs> that was those were my only issues. Yeah, I, we I, wish Kenny would have learned Spanish, but <laughs> we um. Uh, we, you know, I realized we, we, we kind of were starting to talk to talk to them very rarely, but we were going to do an interview with them and then we just got busy and forgot, but we would still, yeah. we don't normally have people on the show on our show, but we would talk to them because we thought they, you know, gay rights became such an important part of their storyline. And I think again, um, like you said, you mentioned this a lot in our show or mentioned this once in our show, Jake and I have agreed that we wish and encourage people would travel, travel the world, see other places. It really helps your perspective. It, again, it makes sounds cliche, makes you a better person, makes you grateful for what is going on that's great in our country, but then also makes you see some things that are room for improvement. And, but I think for a lot of our listeners, they kind of thought, oh, well, gay marriage is legal in the US, it's legal in Canada, it's gonna be fine everywhere, and it's not the case. And so- and even we, when it is legal in Mexico, like it is on the laws, but there's all kinds of- for Bullshit, we love to go through it. Yeah. So it's, so that was, uh, so we liked that about them, but they, um, we also, we didn't believe that Kenny's never had Botox. And then one of our Facebook, <laughs> our Facebook, our sissies got us a cameo from him and he read us for filth and he was like, it's not Botox girls. <laughs> and like, and I'm like, oh, you, you young looking bitch. And he read he us amazing. about, I, I kind of, I kind of came for him. Cause we, one of the things we talked about like is the spelling of name. names. Uh, I think I the names were fine. He was he spelled his his son's name differently, and I just thought I thought that's that's kind of ridiculous. Um, yeah, he's, like, he's, like a, he's like a what eighties guy? Like he grew up in the eighties? Yeah, uh -huh. right. But so he, like, he, yeah. like Kenny. He's I'm like, telling you my now, kids' names are perfect. Thank you. We want to totally 100% go drink with them. We bet they're a fun time. I think they have good good senses of humor, and I think they they kind of understand it. I think they get. Yeah. how they're going to appear. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think one of the reasons that's why they're such <laughs> fan favorites, because they understood. Yeah. They understood. And do, you, and do you think that it's interesting that they are being credited as the first gay couple versus Stephanie <sighs> oh, and Erica? What a disaster that was, though. Um, I, I think it's a shame that they're that Stephanie and Erica aren't getting any um I think that's a bit credit of, for it. I think that's a bit of biphobia too, to be honest. I think if they would have quote unquote labeled themselves as uh as um lesbians, uh -huh. that they probably would have gotten more of that. I think that but Stephanie and Erica were the in our opinion, were the first gay couple on 90 Day Fiance. Well, the first same sex couple. Yeah, the first same sex couple. I, I I think it has to do, I think you're exactly right about biphobia. I think it is people going, well, if they both date men, why are they with women right yeah. now? I think it's just a, under, a misunderstanding of bisexuality in general yeah. um, from the from the general public. So and that, that, that's something we talk about with Hazel and Tariq. Yeah, just because like with Hazel and Tariq, 
just because she is bisexual does not mean she wants to enter into a polyamorous three-way relationship with with you, Tariq, and another woman. She's bisexual, that's one thing, but then she wants to have an open relationship. That's another thing not all bi people want to just uh, be an open relationship. So we, we try to make that distinction on our show just because um, a lot of people are think, you know, oh, if I'm bi, I can just fuck anyone all the time. We're like, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> I don't actually think she's bisexual. Oh, you think she's, uh, it may have to do with what? Like what else? I think that she's a lesbian and I think that she likes Tariq is in the sense that she loves, cares about him. Yeah. But she wants to be with a woman and see her future in America as a woman with a woman. And Tariq was kind of like the means for her to get here. That's what mm. I think. Because I think back to her first season and how she didn't even want to touch him. Remember she put that pillow thing in between them? Mm -hmm. Didn't yeah. like, and then all of a sudden, two years later, you're not only bisexual, but you want to be in an open relationship with Tariq, but you don't want Tariq to pick the girl. You want to pick the girl and you want the girl to be someone that you're attracted to and not someone yeah. that Tariq's attracted to. I don't know. I I think it's extremely layered because we're dealing with obviously her coming from a country, especially where she grew up. That's that, that's, that's poverty. So she th that could have something so much to do with needing to get out of that and also needing to make a uh, life for her and her son. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's so there's so many levels. And also with her religion and her religious growing up, you could do a whole dissertation about Hazel's. <laughs> you know, is she or is she not a lesbian or is she right. bisexual? Right. And so, yeah, I think, oh, it's such a, it's so tangled up. I, I, I would not want to be either of them right now. Uh, living in that house. <laughs> mm -mm. It's a lot going on. A yeah. lot going on with them. Um, I do want to try. I want to try one more game with you. We'll all. behave this time. We'll be good. Okay. And it's easy. So, I want you to name, well, tell me again how many seasons you've got. You guys are in, not four, five, and six, right? Uh, we no just four, started three. We just started three. Okay. No four, five, and six. Uh, yeah. Okay. But we, we know a lot of the people who have been on like Happily Ever After. So okay. we know, but we, so we watch the most current seasons as well. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit of couple switch up. So I'm going to give you a couple. And out of the 90 day realm, you're going to tell me who you would pair them with instead. So Ooh, I like Ooh. this. So I'm going to start with, do you guys remember Tim and my Lisa? Oh, Tim, my, my Lisa. My Lisa. <laughs> He's a golden okay. retriever. Oh, my Lisa. I love her. She's my first love from Colombia. <laughs> but I love her. Columbia. Oh, my Lisa. Who would you put them with outside of each other? Oh, that's a good question. Um, oh, I would put Tim with, um, with um, uh, actually the girlfriend of other Tim. Uh, uh, what, and Jennifer Veronica? from Columbia. Oh, Jennifer. 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 Oh. Tim and Jennifer. Jennifer. <laughs> Gen I, that's, I love I would you, put, Jennifer. I would put them together. With, that's, with. that's a good one. I'll let and, Poodle and do Melissa. Uh, Melissa. Um, well, Melissa needs a couple of things. Um, she needs a guy who's going to dote on her. Um, preferably if they have money, that's good. Um, she needs, so maybe Sean from Sean and Abby. <gasps> oh. I, I'm grossed out that you're maybe right. He's creepy, but. Um, Those lips. Um. Uh, or or Michael from Michael and Juliana. Uh, um, yeah, she doesn't I, deserve I, him. I I kind of think I think Melissa needs, um, or maybe someone like I'm trying to think of someone who's someone's very successful. Um, You're ruining the game. You're supposed to pick one person. You're already sucking it up. Sorry, I've already <laughs> gone with it, y'all. I already <laughs> gone with it. I'm, I've accepted defeat. I did it right. <laughs> Kind of. All right, Brittany and Yazan. Ugh. Ugh. 
<laughs> for both of them. Um, I want to start with Yazan. Uh, okay. Yazan, um, I'll put Yazan with, uh, I'm trying to think who would be, you know, would it work with something like someone who's just so outgoing? Yazan maybe with Tania or Tanya. Uh, okay. That might work because he's like a little bit low key. Uh -huh. uh, he might, and when she would say things like, I just don't know if I'm your soulmate. And he would go, what? <laughs> 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 so then he wouldn't have to explain, she would have to explain it. Okay. And I think Brittany, I'm going to go back. Brittany should be with Chelsea from season two. Oh. oh, because wow. Chelsea, Mary, she was with, you know, um, she was with, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Ymir. Ymir. They got divorced. And now then I think she was with a woman. Now she's with a guy. But Chelsea is just like so she they would fight because they would have no money. But Chelsea is so just like earth. Sure. Whatever. And I think it would be calming for Brittany. And they would just like. No, have, Brittany. Have, Brittany would, because Chelsea wouldn't argue about something and Brittany would need to have words about something. No, and Chelsea would say, it's fine that you have adult braces. That's fine. <laughs> that we still say we're fake. Uh, Who don't think they're vanity braces? I thought they were vanity braces that she, Did you really? that she got yeah. because she to wanted get older to get her yeah. baby. Yeah. Um, oh, my gosh. I really thought it because it made her look younger. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. I said that. Yeah. Okay, Rebecca and Ziad. So oh. much, so beautiful. So um, much. You know, even though even though uh, he's a little bit younger than her, who, when, when has that ever mattered to Rebecca? Um, uh, Molly, Molly and Ziad. Molly and Ziad. Yeah, well, that could work. That, that could work. work. Two Southern women, you know. Yep. I think. I think I'm gonna say. Cause she did, cause she loves the Dick Riviera, cause she's been there before. She swings that way, that part of Europe that we. I uh, it's just a little bit up the way, but I think Rebecca and um, uh, uh, Rebecca and um, Alex, Alexi, 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 yeah. No. Yeah, I no. think. I, Alexi? <laughs> no, I think it's wrong too. Are you talking about Lawrence Alexi? Yes, that's who he's no talking way. about. No that's what way. I think. No. I think just for the sex, because Rebecca would like that. Oh, okay. You know what? You I know what? You this is better. Azan. This is... Azan. Nicole's Azan. I thought that's who you were. Oh, we don't know. We, didn't oh, know, we that. don't know that. You know what? I will say this. But that's a Re good idea. Rebecca and Sasha. There we go. Interesting. No, I'm Sasha needs to be in charge. Sasha needs to be. Um, and maybe I'm not saying these are good. I'm just saying he. I like so, how we're both we're both saying absolutely not. I'm just saying he's so <laughs> yeah. beautiful. I think about what's good. Maybe y'all thinking what's good for their life. I'm thinking about what would make good TV. Uh, well, that's it because Sasha's so beautiful. <laughs> Rebecca would be. I love Rebecca. Uh, she would feel so uncomfortable. She'd just be no. chewing on that corner of her mouth the whole time. Just you're wrong. Do it over. <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> I say this on the show all the time. He says something controversial, and I, I, I'm like, no, this is bad. This is wrong. <laughs> okay, one last one because you know we have we can't leave out Darcy and Stacy. So oh, I'm saying the sisters. Who would you we love? Put love. With? We love love. Why? Why? <laughs> wow! Wow! Um. I'll choose Ooh. one for uh, you, Stacey. You have to do Stacy, and I'll have to I'll do choose Stacey. Stacey. Oh, um, this is hard. Uh, I think Stacy should be with. <laughs> it has to be a foreign man because th there's nothing else for them. <laughs> oh um, my God. Uh, they don't. They don't know how to relate to American men. Uh, I. I would say. What about someone like, um, I'm trying to think, what would Stace, what about someone like Antonio? Uh, oh, from, the friend? Uh, yeah. what's no, uh, Antonio friend? and, um, and uh, 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 what's his, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, the, what's her name? 
uh, not Courtney, Courtney and Antonio. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Courtney, you know what? Courtney. I like that one actually. Yeah. I could see that. I could see that. Courtney. And the Courtney. queen, Darcy. Yes. Darcy. This better be good. Don't make me pick for you. <laughs> You're on thin ice. <laughs> I think Darcy could, if 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 he didn't have a little bit of anger issues that we know about. Um, so let's pretend that is gone. Um, Darcy and and I'm blanking on his name, but is it John from Britain? John and oh um, yeah, John. 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 I think Darcy and John. I I could say that he would have to have more money. I think. Or be a model. I think she would be. I think he would like. He's so yeah. like masculine. He yeah. would pick I her up and carry it. her and yeah. carry her across the threshold. And that's what she she would say. My strong British man, my my, my London man, my husky man, carry me away. <laughs> he fights. I always wanted. He fights a little bit. He fights for love. He fights for, he fights for love. love. Oh my that's God. what I, think. I approve that choice. Thank I you. Thank I think you. that was your redemption moment. I think it was. I know. Yeah. You, it was. you got redeemed. I yeah, did. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I did. Okay, I don't want to keep you guys too long, but I do want to talk about this last bit of tea. Ooh. And the last bit of tea, if you guys have not heard, uh, the streets are talking. And apparently, Betty and Ron, who we know are Brandon's parents. Mama and Papa Brandon, yeah. Mama and Papa Brandon are not only swingers, but they are doomsday preppers and they bought the farm and all that stuff. So you see all like the, the shakes and all of the protein and all the, the animals and all of this stuff that they're doing um, because you know, they're doomsday preppers and they believe that uh, that farm has to be self-sustainable and like that makes bunker, 100% sense. bunker lifestyle. Um, and so it makes sense to me too, because them being extra prudish and, so busy wanting to know what's going on in Brandon's room is because y'all y'all do that. Y'all do, that's yeah. why mom peeked into the hot tub to be like, ooh, the water's a little cloudy. It's cloudy yeah. because y'all use it were all the time yeah. and you know what goes on in there. Stop it. They are fear, 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 fear-based people. And that does not surprise us at all. We, um, they clearly don't have any idea of what they're doing. My grandpa was a farmer, and you could tell they don't know what the it's fuck they're doing. Farm. It's total a hobby farm. I think you're exactly right. They're doomsday prepping. Um, we we just thought there was just clutter, but I think it's doomsday <laughs> prepping makes a lot of sense. The best thing for Julia is to get out of that family. I hope I hope it doesn't work out with him because if he's gross. I, they're gross. No, you don't I want did. those people to be your grandparents. I but didn't I think he was like, bad until I saw that Instagram video he did with her. Um, the uh, slave one? Oh, yes. God. So, was, so awful. I couldn't even, I couldn't even talk about it. I we, was told, we told limited. our listeners not to watch it and give him views. We wouldn't let it be posted on our Facebook page. We didn't yeah. let that be posted. We also don't let them people post pictures or videos from people's OnlyFans because even though... It's, they're out there getting that content. They're getting theirs. They're, and we've got sex workers that listen to us. So people have got to work and yeah. they've yeah. got to do that. I mean, I come on. If I if I got someone, well, it, Poodle would do a sex show in a Burger King if someone paid him. <laughs> <laughs> For real. He would slide. Listen, he would put, he would I am put not lube all over. He would put lube all over that King thing and just slide <laughs> up and down it and say, where's your whopper now, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not arguing with you. Listen, I'm trying to get my viewers to come on and do this foot thing on, on OnlyFans. I'm calling it foot diversity. So Ooh. all the different types of feet you want, I got it all. Because we do really have, you know, a cornucopia. A feet? Yeah, why not? Feet. Yeah. It's a Benetton like it. out of feet. That's it. I like it. Absolutely. See, there you go. But but for OnlyFans. Because, yeah. you know, all the yeah. feet lovers. Get yours. I'm, okay. you know, I'm, I'm totally fine with OnlyFans. You know, do as long as, long as you're not hurting anybody. Yep. Um, make your own business. Get your own. Get that money. The money they're getting is wild, yeah. you guys. And oh, speaking yeah. of OnlyFans, you know that I just saw this today and I was fascinated by it. So Hulu is doing 
a new original series called Only Fans Selling Sexy. I just oh, yeah. saw that. Uh, someone sent it to me. Someone sent us to it, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't oh, I'm gonna it's going to be, it's gonna be a lot. Mm -hmm. We I uh, have friends who do them. We have friends. <laughs> people friends, I mean, friends who I'm on friends with when, when Piano Cat 77 is out and about on Chatterbait. Yeah. I don't know if we'll have time to cover it because we just jumped into Marrying Millions, but, um, but. Oh, we'll that see. show is wild. I, I don't know. Oh, if it's so good. Linda, Linda it's, it is such, I called it unrepentant trash. And you know, there's no value at all. It's just wonderful. It's wonderful. I uh, I haven't seen it, but I did interview uh, the Rodney and Desiree. It, <gasps> did you talk about his parents? I <laughs> did you, listen, you guys. Did you talk about his parents. <laughs> What's what is happening with those two? For real, for real. Like for yeah. real, for real. Because I didn't want to come out and be all like, "You gay? You gay?" That part. Yeah, but I was like, wait, what? We like, can you don't say want that. her to move. You don't want her to move to you. You don't. Want, you want to just yeah. do this, and you don't want her to come to your life because everyone in I your city knows. Yeah, man. Okay, you do you. Well, we also we just it, talked about the because we try to be very cognizant because we understand that like. And it, we, it made it a little bit is a spectrum, but we're also talking about sexuality is a spectrum. But when we talk about Desiree, like we just call her Peg Bundy because everything of her style is Peg Bundy. It's like the dresses she wears, her, her hair, hair has that big yeah. bouffant. And we, yeah. we even said on the podcast, we we're like, look, guys, you got to be we don't want to talk about black women's hair because that's a thing. But this is not her hair. It's her hair styles. Yeah. Like she went shopping for a wedding dress with a sequin banana clip, plastic yes. piece of shit clip on her head yes. with this weird as, what did you describe her dress poodle as? Uh, I called it little red Robin hood, little, sorry, little red riding hood stripper slash, uh, um, some type of like christening gown, uh, for the wedding dress she tries wearing. on with two black heels that look like, look like just like, like goons from a bar that Cinderella's fairy turned into <laughs> shoes. Like it's just, it's She's just something. We she, don't know what's Desiree, happening. Desiree is Desiree a Desiree is something. You know, some people, they peak, like, you know, I think she was, <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Like people in the, you're she like, peaked. she peaked in the eighties and that's where she's staying. Yep, that is exactly it. Like that. Like they just, they're like, this was my decade. And we are I'm saying that on our show and crediting mm -hmm. you. It, it happens. It was great. That's how you see people with like the tight jeans, like David from David and Lana. Oh, God oh, bless. Yeah. God he bless. He peaked in the 70s. And he that's did. why you see these let law. Like, who has a long leather trench coat in 2020s? <laughs> David. David. I'm from the future. That's it. <laughs> that is it. The future, the matrix. <laughs> Oh, Guys, thank you so much. Linda, so we fun. love you very much. I love you guys right back with my heart. Um, everyone knows you guys, but if you want to tell people where they can find you. You can find us on Instagram at Reality Gaze Podcast. Uh, you can find us on Twitter at Reality Gaze Pod. And you can find, our, find us at our website. And that is realitygazepodcast.com. You don't go to realitygaze.com because that's porn, y'all. That's a porn website. <laughs> porn. We're you know, trying to buy it. It's not going well. If you want to. And it's it, bad. It's bad it's porn, too, porn. Linda. It's really bad gay porn. Like, at least it would be good. It's horrible. It hasn't been touched in like 10 years. It makes us angry. It, it's and Poodle said to me, he said, it's, he said, how ironic. He said, this is Shakespearean that our downfall is gay porn. Right? <laughs> That's the un that's called the universe laughing. It is. Oh, God's yeah. going those bitches. God. Anyway, thank you so much for having us. We had thank a ball. Thank you for having us, Linda. This is great. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye for now.